Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML, a company that once mastered the core technology of global semiconductor manufacturing, can it continue to maintain its technological dominance in the gap between the US and China's technological game? Perhaps in the past few years, it would be difficult for anyone to imagine that this Dutch company would face such a complicated situation. ASML, which once occupied the high ground of the global market, now seems to be feeling unprecedented pressure in the context of the ever-changing world. From the fluctuations of the global economic cycle to the technological competition between China and the United States, and even the independent substitution of the Chinese market, ASML's prospects are no longer as bright as in the past. In the past few years, the semiconductor industry has been the focus of global technological competition, and ASML is undoubtedly the most dazzling star in this fiercely competitive track. Its EUV lithography technology is almost the soul of the global semiconductor manufacturing process, and its presence is indispensable for chip manufacturing processes from 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers, or even smaller. It can be said that without ASML's lithography machine, there would be no high-performance chips today. However, the global semiconductor industry seems to have entered a trough period recently. The global economic slowdown has led to a decrease in demand for consumer electronics, such as PCs and smartphones, and major chip manufacturers have reduced capital expenditures. TSMC, Intel and other giants have lowered their procurement plans, which directly affects ASML's order volume. The most direct manifestation is that ASML chooses not to disclose the number of new orders, which obviously sends a signal of market weakness. The biggest challenge ASML is currently facing may come from changes in the Chinese market. Since 2023, ASML has been deeply sandwiched in the Sino-US technological competition, especially in the export of EUV lithography machines, facing the US-led technology blockade. In 2024, the Dutch government once again tightened its export policy to China, making it impossible for ASML to continue to freely supply the most advanced lithography machines to Chinese companies. However, the problem is not that simple. The Chinese market has always been an important source of ASML's revenue, accounting for more than 40% of its global revenue for a long time. The Chinese market not only has huge demand, but also has made amazing progress in the development of chip manufacturing technology in the past few years. SMIC, a Chinese chip manufacturing giant, has recently made a breakthrough in the 7 nanometers process. What is more noteworthy is that SMIC has achieved mass production of 7 nanometers chips through multiple exposure technology, which means that even without ASML's EUV lithography machine, Chinese companies can go further in technology. At the same time, Chinese companies are also accelerating their self-sufficiency in the lithography machine industry chain. From Shanghai Microelectronics DUV Lithography Machine Research and development to Harbin Institute of Technology's breakthrough in the core technology of EUV lithography machine extreme ultraviolet light source, the progress of domestic manufacturers is becoming more and more significant. Harbin Institute of Technology's technological breakthrough is even regarded as a key link for China to break through the bottleneck of lithography machine technology. The progress of these technologies is undoubtedly weakening ASML's technological monopoly in the Chinese market, making ASML feel unprecedented pressure. In addition to the gradual rise of the Chinese market, ASML also needs to deal with challenges from other manufacturers around the world. 
The most noteworthy is the resurgence of Japanese companies. Japanese companies such as Tokyo Electron, Canon, and Nikon have become more active in the lithography machine market in recent years. In particular, Canon has launched a new technology called nanoimprint lithography NIL, claiming to provide a new alternative for the production of chips below 10 nanometers. Tokyo Electron continues to innovate in immersion DUV scanning systems, which may become a potential competitor to ASML in some markets. Although ASML still occupies a leading position in the field of lithography, its market share faces severe challenges in the face of strong competition from Japanese companies. Not announcing the number of new orders may be a way for ASML to deal with it. This practice is not accidental. Faced with the pressure of global economic slowdown, ASML may choose to manage market confidence in a more conservative way to avoid overexposure to the risk of declining orders. However, such a retreat has obviously also caused more doubts about ASML's future performance. Faced with these challenges, ASML did not sit idly by. It chose to accelerate the launch of the second generation, High NAEUV Lithography Machine, EXE 5200, which is regarded as the core tool for future chip manufacturing below 7 nanometers. By improving the resolution of the lithography machine, EXE 5200 will help ASML continue to maintain its absolute leading position in technology, at least in the short term, so as not to be abandoned by the market. However, ASML's future may not rely solely on technology. As demand in the global semiconductor industry fluctuates, ASML has to consider the transformation from equipment sales to service business, especially in the context of economic downturn and uncertain demand, the maintenance and upgrade services of lithography machines will become an important source of stable income. In addition, ASML may also increase its layout in the European and American markets in the future, especially the European market. European companies and governments are increasingly supporting the semiconductor industry, which may provide more market opportunities for ASML in the future. However, the real challenge is whether the rise of Chinese companies will completely break ASML's technological monopoly in the field of lithography machines. If China's lithography machine technology continues to break through and eventually achieve industrialization, ASML's market share and technological advantages will shrink significantly. Whether ASML's technological advantages can support its global market leadership will probably determine the new landscape of the semiconductor industry in the next few years.